Hello, everyone. It's me again. Once again, sincere thanks for your strong support. Today, I'd like to continue on our discussion on filter design. For this video, I'm going to concentrate on the L Session Network Filter, the LC series. I realized that my student has difficulty to identify whether this LC is a low pass filter or a high pass filter. So, for this video, the objective is to distinguish whether the LC network is a low pass configuration or is a high pass configuration. This will be the part five series. Okay, so this is one series before I jump in into the detailed design of a filter design. This is my email. If you have any question regards on today's discussion, please drop me an email. Before I continue, I'd like to urge you guys to support this channel by pressing the like and subscribe button. Please also turn on your notification bell in order to receive more information from this channel. Once again, thank you guys for your time and also your strong support on this channel. Thanks again. This is what I mentioned earlier on. These two diagrams shows the LC network. They can be a low pass or high pass filter. So the objective of this video is to distinguish whether is this low pass or high pass or whether this is low pass or high pass by understand the key concept, why? So from this session here, you can see that the series is a L, the shunt is a C. As for this configuration, you can see that the series is a C while the shunt is a L. So this video, like what I mentioned earlier on, we are going to discuss. Okay, so for example, for this case here, in fact, this is a low pass filter. I'm going to explain to you why this configuration with a series L and a shunt C is a low pass filter. As for this configuration, okay, it's actually a high pass filter with a series C and a shunt L. Another discussion I like to take place for this video is also there are actually two different types of low pass filter. For example, for this case here, you can see for this case here, this thing is actually pointed to the right. And for this case here, you can see that this series is actually point to the left. Same as for this high pass filter. Here you can see that this series is actually point to the right. As for this case here, for this high pass filter is actually point to the left. Okay, I'm also going to explain whether your LC is supposed to point to the right or supposed to the point to the left. So I'm going to explain which will be the suitable one under different scenario. Okay, so this is also another objective of this video. Before I continue on the discussion, I like to break the discussion into between the cutoff frequency. Anything that is lower than the cutoff frequency, I would like to denote this as low frequency. Anything that is higher than cutoff frequency, okay, I would like to denote this as high frequency. So this is essential so that we can further proceed on the discussion. Okay, so this is the L session network or LC network that I mentioned earlier on. So like I mentioned earlier on, I like to break them into low frequency and high frequency. So let's understand the impedance for this L here. So for L is governed by this impedance rule, which is omega L. And we know that this omega is actually 2 pi f. So from here, I can derive that the impedance for this L is actually 2 pi f L. Same wise for this capacitor, we know that for the impedance is actually 1 over omega c. Again, omega we know that is equal to 2 pi f. So therefore, from here, I know the impedance of c is actually 1 over 2 pi f c. Okay, you probably take note that I have we move away the J term. Okay, so at this moment, the J term is not meaningful. Okay, but in the reality world, okay, that is actually J term. But for this discussion to be meaningful, I actually have removed away the J term. So now let's take a consideration. Okay, under the low frequency. Okay, so this is what I mentioned here. Under the low frequency, what will happen to the impedance at L? Okay, you can see. This is what I have mentioned earlier on, which is governed by this equation. 
when I actually have a low frequency, okay, can you see here when my F is actually very small? So you can see that this L value is in fact already very small. So you can see that the impedance of my L, which is a very small number. So let me just denote this 0 0.1 ohm to denote this as a very small number. As for another case here, for this impedance of C, okay, which is governed by this equation, again, the F is very small. The C is already very small. So the resultant of this is actually a very small number. So one divided by a very small number, okay, it becomes a very big number. So let's denote this 1000 ohm as a very big number here. Okay, so this is the scenario here. So you can see that at low frequency, can you see here? So imagine that at low frequency, they actually will be able to pass through. Can you see here? So this is a filter. So at low frequency, you can see that all the low frequency component will be able to pass through. As you can see that the impedance over here is very small, which is 0 0.1. So basically, every low frequency component will be able to pass through. So this is one example. Next, let's discuss about high frequency. Okay, again, for high frequency, you can see from here. Okay, so let's take a look over here. So this is high. So when the frequency is high, this XL become a very high number. Okay, so for this case here, the frequency is high. So the high actually cancel away the effect of C. So this become a very small number. So from here, you can see that the high frequency component actually shun to the ground. You can see here, the high frequency component actually shun it to the ground. And earlier on, you can see that at low frequency, it actually passed over. Okay, because low frequency, this is actually a very small impedance and all the components actually passed over. And at high frequency, okay, all the high frequency component is actually shunned to the ground. So from here, I conclude that when the series is a L and my shun is a C, this is a low pass filter. So in short, in this configuration with a series L, you can see that all the low frequency component able to pass and the high frequency component is actually shunned to the ground. So from here, I conclude that series L and shunned C is actually a low pass filter. I hope this is clear rather than memorize, understand this so that you can apply this technique in your workplace in the future. Next, let's put another LC network into consideration here. So this is another L session network. So earlier on, okay, the series is a inductor, the shunt is a C, now it's actually reversed. Now the series is actually a capacitor and the shunt is a L. Okay, again, they are all governed by the same equation. Okay, so this is the impedance for C is governed by this equation. And this is the impedance for L, which is governed by this equation. Again, let's study on two different conditions. Firstly, let's study under low frequency, what actually happened. At low frequency, okay, you take a look over here. When this frequency is low, the C effect is cancelled. So you can see that the impedance for C is actually a very big number. As for this case here at low frequency, okay, you can see that when low frequency, okay, together with a low L, this thing is actually very, very small. So from here, you can see that at low frequency, it actually shun to the ground. Okay, you see here, all the low frequency components are all shun to the ground. Now let's take a look on high frequency. Okay, so again, at high frequency, this F is high. So from here, this is high, it cancels away the effect of C. So this impedance of C becomes a very small number. As for the inductor, when I actually have a high frequency, okay, the impedance of my inductor actually becomes a very large number. So what does this mean? This means that at high frequency, all the component will be able to pass through. But for low frequency, as I explained earlier on, okay, all of them will be actually shunned to the ground. So from here again, okay, I actually can conclude that 
a series C and a Shan L is actually a high pass filter because this series path actually enable all the high frequency component to pass while the low frequency component are all shunned into the ground. Okay, so hopefully with this, you understand how to distinguish low pass and high pass filter based on the location of the L and C. Next. Okay, so sorry, before I go through another next slide. So this is a quick conclusion to show it to you. This is a low pass filter. This is a high pass filter. Next. Okay, so this is what I mentioned early on. So this is a filter. Whether I can put this, let's say this diagram one into this filter, or we put this diagram two into this filter, okay, actually is crucial for certain means here. So let's understand, okay, which one we supposed to put into this filter as illustration. For example, okay, let's say this is one thousand ohm, this is fifty ohm. So should I put figure one inside or should I put figure two inside? Or how can I tell whether I supposed to put figure one inside or figure two inside this filter? So let's understand this. Okay, for example, here, when this is 50 and when this is 1000, okay, I supposed to put this a series L and a shan C. Okay, so how can I memorize this? Okay, for example, this look like a gun. Can you see here? This look like a gun. So the gun is always point to a smaller guy. Okay, which means that I actually compare the resistance 50 versus 1000. So 50 is a smaller number. So therefore, the gun is always point to the smaller guy. So therefore, I suppose to put a series L and a shan C in this configuration. Likewise, Okay, when I actually have a 1000 ohm here and a 50 ohm here, again, remember, this thing resembles like a gun and the gun is always point to the smaller guy. So for this case here, the L supposed to point towards the smaller guy, which is 50 ohm. Okay, with this, I hope you're able to understand how to distinguish low pass and high pass filter and I also hope that you understand how does this pointing either to the left or to right configure. In short, this thing look like a gun and the gun is always point to the smaller guy. Whether is it low pass, whether is it the high pass is the same philosophy. This is always pointing to the smaller guy, which is the smaller impedance value. With this, I'd like to end my discussion. Please help to like and subscribe. Once again, thank you so much for your strong support. See you guys.